We're now told by Sir Craig Oliver that the reason the Sun newspaper have not named the presenter who is at the centre of this scandal in the BBC is because the burden of proof uh, probably has not been met. We're on day three of the story. It's been on the front page of the Sun for the last three days and they've still not named the presenter, he says. Uh, he says that this is about burden of proof. I think not. I think this is about what um, uh, the, um, the the climate in the country moving against um, uh, moving against being over salacious, particularly in the aftermath of the Philip Schofield affair. And uh, th this hasn't stopped the name leaking out. If you if you were to um, uh, look at uh, foreign press coverage of this story the identity of the uh, presenter is fairly clear. Um, and certainly foreign journalists are well aware of, uh, of the identity of this person. Um, the, uh, Kelvin McKenzie says that the Sun is prepared to strike, but they aren't prepared to um, wound uh, for reasons commercial rather than legal. Uh, he also thinks, that, as I do, that the BBC is likely to be in more trouble than the presenter when it emerges, or if it emerges, I think he says, that the mother contacted the son after getting no response from the BBC. The paper has said that the family of the young person who was 17 when the payments began made the BBC aware of their concerns on the 19th of May, but were frustrated when... Um, the presenter remained on air, and for that reason they approached the Sun newspaper. The BBC, of course, is asking who knew what, when, and they're trying to look as professional about this as they possibly can. But the problem is uh, the BBC is looking uh, like a very naughty school child who has been scolded for delivering uh, homework well after the day when it was due. Now there's a person called Jeff Brown, who's, with, who's a former uh, police detective um, specialising in sexual assault cases and fraud and whistleblowing, and he is going to lead a team to uh, investigate the um, activity and uh, whether there's a criminal activity, whether, uh, how much illicit activity is involved how this impacts the BBC, third parties, and so on. And uh, this is going to give the impression that the BBC is doing something, but of course it should have been doing this seven weeks ago. So in the space of seven weeks, what has it done? Nothing. And that is where the focus will turn um, after the sensationalism of naming this person eventually happens. It, uh, the name is going to creep out. The name is going to leak out from somebody. And... Um, you know, it's uh, so, so please don't speculate about who it is in the comment section. It's really not a, it, it, it's not advisable and it's not um, impressive. Uh, so uh, the, the other thing is, other, other than that, please leave comments. Please subscribe if you're new to my channel. And um, I, I think there's a bell to ring. I don't know quite what the bell does, but ring the bell, subscribe. And leave comments. Leave comments in any language, um, uh, to any um, to, to any purpose. You don't have to agree with me, um, but please don't speculate about who the, about the identity of this presenter. It's um, uh, it, it, it's probably um, it, it, it's foolish. That's all I can say, really.